Okay, so, did you know that Akira Toriyama once got another mangaka in trouble with the fans? Under normal circumstances, if Akira Toriyama makes a suggestion for something that you are working on, that could be considered a golden touch. But I came across this fun little anecdote that shows that's not always the case. I'm Zero, and welcome to the Black Star Zero YouTube channel. See, mangaka Masakazu Katsura is a close friend and fellow collaborator of Akira Toriyama's. They have worked in projects together as recently as 2010. Masakazu Katsura is even rumored to have been involved in the creation of certain aspects of the Dragon Ball manga, something that he downplays and attributes to Toriyama coming up with himself. Hmm. I wonder if Masakazu Katsura has ever read the 48 Laws of Power. Anyways, when Toriyama pitched a few ideas to Katsura, who was working on his own manga called DNA Squared in the 90s, he took it on board because it's goddamn Akira Toriyama, naturally. Katsura took this as the word of God, so to speak. DNA Squared is about this bum, Junta Momonari. See, our boy Junta here is down bad. Down horrendous. Dare I even say, down apocalyptic. Junta gets severe performance anxiety when he's, um, in the mood, shall we say. To the point where he physically throws up if he sees some anime titties. I know, I know. Anyways, due to some time travel shenanigans, he gains the ability to turn into a 6 foot 1 Giga Chad nicknamed Mega Playboy. I shit you not. Let's just say in his transformed state, Mega Playboy's way with the ladies would make Genghis Khan blush. When Junta becomes Mega Playboy, he gets a full-on Yu-Gi-Oh! Super Saiyan transformation which he then uses to dispense fades and riz in equal measure. Toriyama suggested to Katsura that when the MC transforms, have the character fight and also have the character's hair change colour. Not feeling too keen on the idea for obvious reasons, he went along with it and incorporated Toriyama's suggestion. Again, it's goddamn Akira Toriyama. This would have been at the height of Dragon Ball's popularity, so as you can imagine, he had a lot of sway at the time. Toriyama's suggestion, however, didn't go down too well with the Dragon Ball fans, who had no idea it was Toriyama who suggested the changes. They proceeded to chastise Katsura, who would later recall that Dragon Ball fans chastised me with things like Stop looking Dragon Ball and Stop copying Dragon Ball. He also recalls the entire experience as a bittersweet memory. It seems that Katsura has no hard feelings towards Toriyama regarding the outcome of Omega Playboy's transformation and the fan reception. As mentioned earlier, they have collaborated plenty of times since then, including on their joint work Sachi-chan Good, a one-shot from 2010. Akira Toriyama and his work has had an influence on a lot of manga creators like Taite Kubo, Eiichiro Oda, and Masashi Kishimoto to name a few. But as Masakazu Katsura's experience shows, it's not always for the better. As a fan of DNA Squared before learning of Akira Toriyama's involvement, and it gave me a new appreciation for the series, if you like 90s anime and haven't seen one in a while, give DNA Squared a try. It's funny as hell if you can stand all the edgy and barf. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed what you saw or found any of the information useful, please drop a like and even consider subscribing to the channel for more interesting content. I'm aiming for 100 subs by the end of the year, it would really help me out, thank you very much in advance. Also, check out our podcast on the Cutthroat Takes channel, episode 6 goes up this Friday with new episodes out every 2 weeks, links in the description as always, I'll catch you in the next video.